Hello there, my name is Patrick Stonecure and I'm a minister in the Methodist Church in the north and the northwest of Bristol. Before I entered ordained ministry in the Methodist Church, I was in fact a partner working most recently in Waitrose IT at supporting the supply chain and I left that role in the middle of 2014. If you've been part of the Faith Forum for a little while, you might remember that back in the late spring, early summer, I recorded some remarks about Eid and perhaps my own reflections on celebration of that. I'm recording this just on Christmas Eve, just a few hours before Christmas will begin. And I'm dressed as I will be later this evening in uh, the robes I don't often wear, to be honest, I just wear them on main festivals uh, to celebrate uh, Midnight Mass or in our tradition, Holy Communion. One thing we shall be doing in that service is to read a part of the Bible which refers to light and the light coming into the world. Christianity isn't unique in celebrating light coming to the world. Jews uh, celebrate the festival of Hanukkah and of course in uh, Indian traditions there is uh, Diwali and other uh, faith traditions celebrate the coming of light into the world as well. In my preparations for this evening, I'll be reflecting on those words from the Bible, but I'm going to be using a picture which I'm just going to show to you now. Some of you may also know that for many years, and in fact, my association with the John Lewis Sailing Club continues. And so it's perhaps no surprise that when I saw this picture on Facebook, it grabbed my attention. And just as we contemplate light coming into the world, I just want to pull out just point out three things in this picture which struck me. Firstly, you can't ignore the moon up high in the sky behind the boat that this picture is taken from. And that just reminds us that at the center of the world, center of the universe is light. Now we can delve into that in all sorts of ways scientifically, but in many scriptures right at the beginning is a sense of light and of order coming into the world because of light. This week we've noticed and uh, celebrated in one sense the light of Jupiter and Saturn coming together in the sky and in one sense we've stood in awe and wonder about all the beauty of the created order around us. And perhaps as we celebrate Christmas and mark Christmas in whatever way we do, whether we're of the Christian tradition or not, we're drawn into it certainly in our own country, perhaps we can just step aside for a moment and just pause and wonder about all that is around us. Secondly, uh, as a sailor, I know that actually at the back of this boat, it's a lifeboat, uh, and I'm grateful to Inver Gordon Lifeboat for publishing the picture and for allowing me to use it, uh, there, is a, there is a light. Uh, we know it's there actually because we can see the reflection of it, but we can't eat in fact see the light directly. Now on a boat at night there are lights uh, in one sense put there to identify that the boat is there. They're not um, headlights as it were, more side lights. In fact colloquially on board boats we call them the side lights. And at the back of this boat is a white light saying that actually the rear of the vessel, the rear of the boat, the rear of the ship is here. That allows other boats to notice that it is there. Without the light that's on in the room that I'm recording this in, you wouldn't be able to see me. Uh, it's not a great light at the moment. In one sense, half my face is in the light and the other half isn't. But that, in one sense, determines a little bit about me. And so light shows us who we are. And the third thing in this picture is that the light from the vessel and actually the light from the sky is mixed. It's a beautiful moonlit night. Of course, the light on the moon is not the moon's own light. It's in fact that coming from the sun. But in the wake, the stream of water going behind this boat, which is moving at some speed, we can see reflected light, both that via the moon onto the sea. And secondly, the light, the man-made light at the back of this boat. That's just prompted me to wonder how often we seek to reflect the light which is around us and to bring light into the world. Whatever our tradition, we hope that the world will be a better place. And so just this Christmas, as I hope you have time to pause and just reflect on who you are and the manner of your own faith, 
and even the fact that perhaps you don't have one but perhaps join in with any of the Christian and other festivals of the world that actually we are perhaps encouraged to bring something better something hopeful something full of light into the world and can I wish you all the best for the rest of the Christmas season of course Christmas begins on Christmas day it doesn't finish for another 12 days and of course for 2021 at the end of a very difficult year for the whole world for any number of people I'm sure for each of you there have been some moments of darkness and I hope and I pray that actually some of the light of the world will come into your life and you'll be able to share it with those around you in some way. Take care now and have a great 2021.